praise be to God on this glorious day, internet! Color Farty's back for more Donkey Kong Country 3 GBA. Today we're gonna start the GBA exclusive world, Pacifica. This is the water world, it's also the only world in the game that has six levels in it, as opposed to five. So we're starting out with the dingy drain pipe. We've played the demolition drain pipe, but this is the dingy drain pipe. Slimy. We start the level by killing some hedgehogs. Aw, oh, darn it. We missed the DK barrel. And Dixie's willing to die for a quarter. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Alright, Dixie really, really loves money. Oh darn it, we need the DK barrel to get up there. I'll just die. <laughs> Sorry kitty, you had to give up your life so we could get the bonus barrel up there. I love that long roll. Alright, yeah. Oh, actually, we get the coin up here. That's right. So what we're gonna do is throw it... Okay, throw it up. So it's slowed down behind us. Now we just jump over here. And bada-beam, bada-boom. It's that simple. That was not as intended. Yeah, so most of this level after that first part is just, like, underwater pipeline. Full of lurchins! didn't even see him there. Still, we got the coin, which is nice. Woohoo! I love how fast you go when you hit, like, five hedgehogs in a row. This is one of those levels where it's kind of hard because you can't see, like, far below you very well. So, for those vertical drop sections, it's kind of hard to see what's ahead. So you're gonna take hits. So, first bonus barrel right up there, not too bad. 40 stars. Hope you're good with spinning barrel cannons. Or I guess rotating barrel cannons. Almost didn't make it. I'm not great with rotating barrel cannons, or at least I'm out of practice with them. So that was a near fan. That was a near fan. And the water pushes us down. Oh boy! Now we're in the land of moving clownfish. This is not fun. So this is kind of an above-water slash underwater level. We've got aspects of both. What's down here? Wow, I've never had a hedgehog follow me underwater before. <laughs> That's fun, though. Con! Dixie and Kitty are con gorillas. Oh! On guard's down there. It's hard because you basically need on guard to get on guard unless you're really good at swimming. But now these stupid green fish pose no threat to us. Is that really all there was? I feel like there should have been a bonus barrel I could get with on guard. Nice collision detection! They're swimming through solid steel. That's kind of weird how you have on guard just for this part. I mean, it helps you get for the fish storm, but normally if you get on guard, it's so you can get a bonus barrel. Whoop! Okay. 
sweet, we almost have enough for the mirror. Oh, darn it! That part's a little evil. Just a little bit. Also, forgot to mention, if you hold R with On Guard, he'll charge up, you release On Guard, alright, you release R, and he will do a mighty charge. Yeah, he can go very fast. Oh, darn it! Too fast! That is such a hard swimming motion to make, because you have to push A to get up through that, but that usually causes you to swim up into the Lurchin. First world problems, I know, but... Out of my way, hedgehogs. I would like to be able to spell calm if I can. I'll never make it to the spelling bee if I can't spell calm. Only seven more coins and we can buy the last fane. Darn it! Yeah, those are- oh, figures, there's the DK Barrel right after that. Stupid red buzzard. Ah! Why are those hedgehogs so much faster than all the others? KONG gives you a free 1-up, so why not? <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get through this now. Nope! There's like no leeway for that! You kinda gotta pray you're just in the right place. In the right place. Because you can't move smoothly up or down in, in the water. It's like jerkish movements. Well, I'm getting money, so I'm not really complaining. There! That time I made it! The one time it doesn't even matter. Oh, wow! Collision detection! Bonus barrel! 55 stars, another star collecting game. <laughs> That's a tough one. If you're not good at collecting all those stars before the water drains, ooh, yeah, you're gonna be in trouble. And hey, Rocket Barrel, we haven't seen those in a while. Not since Cotton Top Cove. Yeah, that's not worth it. One banana bunch? I don't think so. But hey, we get 100%, sweet! Time to go to Barnacles Island. It used to be in a lake of Rainatana, but they moved it here in the GBA version. What a beautiful shell! It's just what I need to finish off me collection! Nice shark in the background. Say, Dixie, would you swap that shell for me, bird? Arr, that I will. You would? That's great. Here, look after this here banana bird. <laughs> Ten banana birds. I can't remember how many are in the game. Time for Stormy Seas. It's another bridge level. And it's a very pretty one at that. Also, if memory serves, surprisingly easy level for this late in the game. Because I think this is intended as the last world you're supposed to do before the final one. I'm doing it as soon as I can. Because the levels here are very hard, for the most part. 
Ouch. I can't believe I died to one of those doofuses. I also always forget that they stick their tons out at you. Move, Lurchin. Okay, these are kabooms. They're like the clobbers, except they blow up when they hit something. That was a long time waiting. Loss of memory serves as a very jerkish bonus barrel on this level. And I'm pretty sure I just missed it. And I need Kitty Calm to get it. Still, that was entertaining. But dang it, you just... You can't beat that music. Well, I mean, you can, but it's very hard. Alright. So nothing up there. But remember, cracked floors. We know what to do with cracked floors. Bonus barrel. If you forgot about those, good luck getting that one. Oh, this is a, this is a nasty one. You've got snap jaw in the ocean. You've got a clasp here. Lame. That was close. I was afraid I was going to die there. I think Dixie will help for this bonus game with her ponytail twirl. Remember, he... He'll, he will turn around after you jump over him, he will also turn around if he just hits the end of the rope. Which is why I died that first time. Yeah! Whew! That's a stressful bonus barrel. Very stressful. Whew! And wow, slow down, that is not common. So we can go backwards, get ourselves on guard. I don't think so. I forgot about the actual clownfish in this, which contained prizes. One more coin and we can buy Cranky's great-great-grandfather's mirror. Oh, what? I'm just backtracking to make sure we didn't miss anything. Because we very well could have. Well, we missed Dixie dying, so... Whoopsies! Cool. I don't think we need bear coins anymore. So this part's supposed to be like, oh, but the sea route and the land route are both dangerous because you got buzzers on land and the fish in the sea, except the fish are pretty easy to dodge. Just tread water at the top. Whoop! Yeah, I saw that coming. Also, I remember the coin being in a very clever place. By that I mean hard to find. Oh, that's right. 
That's where the last bonus barrel is. Nope, nothing doing. Hope you have two columns at the end. I do not. You can swim past the boxes to get this bonus barrel, though. Find the coin! That was deceptively easy. Just don't jump on the second rope. Alright, I gotta backtrack to find me a DK barrel. I want to say the only DK barrel in the second half of the level is like right after the checkpoint. So that's a bit annoying. Or we could just die, that works. Yeah, I think this is the only DK barrel after the checkpoint. Well, might as well go the old on guard way. That dash is pretty great, especially if you're doing a speed run. Wait, what? That doesn't add up. I had a TNT barrel in front of me. The other TNT barrel hit me. He should have blown up, but he didn't. He did not activate my TNT barrel. <laughs> Baloney. A peaceful with we? Baloney. That's Fat Elmer Fudd. <laughs> Eventually, you go, you go so fast, you literally go as faster than the screen can scroll. That is fantastic. Yeah, see, he blew up that time! That guy's a trooper, though. He just takes a TNT barrel like it's nothing. Take that. Alright, that's Stormy Seas. If we go up here, it's Cranky... Oh, Swanky Stash. I'm sorry. Swanky now has a cave to hold his game show in. There may be a secret around here somewhere? I can't remember. All these secrets are hard to keep track of. Catchy music! Alright, time for a very interesting level, Sunken Spruce. It's another treetop level! But, there's a twist. There's always a twist. So first off... That's not good. Come on! Grab the rope! Oh well. It's right at the beginning, so we can always just go back later. Yeah, I'm going back to get the DK barrel. This level's kind of tough. Very cool, but very tough. And it's all because of the stupid green fish. So we can get the K, K up there. Also, be looking at the background for this level. The background's quite beautiful. We're slowly going into Atlantis. I don't think Atlantis had lurchins. And, of course, more bazas. Boo! I hate this pattern of lurchins. Really? That's it? Just one banana? 
feel like I got ripped off there. And no bonus barrels! That worries me thus far. When the game puts both bonus barrels in the second half of the level, it's a bit worrying. Nice little secret up there. First bonus barrel, hopefully. Collect 70 stars! With pleasure! This is also where the, you can notice the bonus barrels are giving me much less time than they did in the first few worlds. Yep, that's intentional. But check out those bonus coins! We will need those if we want to play the Lost World, so collect them all! Just like those Pokémon cards I'm sure a lot of you did as a kid. I never did get into Pokémon myself. I like the idea of it, I just can't get into it. <sighs> There's lightning fast fish you can hardly see until it's too late. I'm surprised I've done this well. Alright, I guess... Oh yeah, random monkey there. You remember them from Barrel Shield Bust Up. Green life. That's not a very well-hidden bonus barrel now, is it? Find the coin! My favorite one. Oh, this one's nasty, though. This is a very nasty one. You have almost no time. Because you've got to go past those bosses twice. One swimming up, one swimming down. Not fun. But at least there's no obstacles in between you and the bonus barrel, should you lose. So that's very generous of the game designers. Yeah, like, if you have to swim up once, you're pretty much dead. Just because you will swim up so high, you'll hit the Baza right above you. Wah, said Toad. Buzzes everywhere. Yeah, Sunken Spruce, really like cool level, like the fact it's like underwater trees. That's actually like a really sweet idea for a level, but like some of these bonus barrels are just frustrating. And this is far from the most frustrating bonus barrel. Far from it. Woohoo! Yes! Definitely on the annoying side, but far from the worst. The worst is one in the lost world. Ouch. Stupid monkeys throwing pebbles make me nervous! Alright, time to go back and get the coin! Boom! It's that easy! Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Donkey Kong Country Free! Thank you very much for watching, I'm Colorful Arty. Tune in for the next episode, we might fi finish Pacifica, starting with... The Cliffside Blast! That level's awesome! Have a great day, and God bless!